In this intermediate Excel tutorial, I want to show you how to use Find and Replace in Microsoft Excel to clean up your data and fix mistakes or make changes that need to be made. And the spreadsheet that I'm going to use for this is a list of CDs for a hypothetical Synthpop CD store. And you can see here I have a list of some excellent Synthpop that has come out in recent years. Some of this is pretty famous stuff, but a lot of this is also kind of underground and not so famous. But I just noticed a mistake in my data. Here, the band Division, which is very similar to Depeche Mode in a lot of ways, but also over the years they've developed their own sound, their own take on synth pop. But anyway, I've noticed that Division here is not spelled exactly right. And of course, I could fix that myself. I could just click on each cell or double click to get inside the cell and change the spelling to make it correct. But there's a much faster way to do so. And that is by going to the Home tab, Home ribbon. On the right side in the Editing group, I can click on Find and Select. And when I do, I get a pop-up. And notice that one of the options in the pop-up is Replace. And so this is Find and Replace, even though it's found in the Find and Select button. So find and replace, I'll click that, and I get a pop-up. And it's a very simple, plain pop-up. Find what and replace it with what. So very simple. But notice that also in the lower right corner, there is an options button. And at some point, you're gonna want to click that because you get additional options that are pretty good. So I just clicked it now and I'll stick with that. But if you think that looks too complicated, go ahead and just click options and go back to the simple view. Okay, so what do I want to find? I want to find the word division, and I want to replace it with the word D forward slash vision. And notice that if I want to, I can force it to match case, and also notice where it's gonna search. It's gonna search within the sheet. I click replace all, and you can see what it says. All done, we made three replacements. All three instances of division have been changed so that they match the real name of the band. At this point, I'm gonna click close, and that worked, and I'm done, and I'm happy. Now, I want you to know that this works not only with content, the content of my spreadsheet. So changing all number 15s to be 20, or I could change every and into an ampersand symbol. So find and replace is really good for making those kinds of changes, but that's not the only kind of change it can make. It can also search for formatting and change the formatting to what you want to change it to. So for example, in this spreadsheet, let's say that I use yellow highlighting to mark CDs that are almost sold out and I need to restock the inventory. Okay, so these are CDs that are selling very well. I need to restock them. Well, once the new stock comes, I don't need them to be yellow anymore. And of course, I could do this manually. I could just highlight the row and go up here and change it to no fill. So I could certainly do that, but I'd have to do it five, six times. Let's try find and replace. So I click on find and select. I go to replace. And this time, I want to get rid of the word division. Division, get rid of that. This time, I don't really care what the content is, what the words say, what the numbers say. What I care about is the format. So I'm gonna click here on Format and Format. And there's all of these different kinds of formats that you can have it find. But in this case, I'm just gonna to go to Fill and I'll choose the yellow highlighter color. I click on it, click OK. So it's gonna search for that particular color and where it finds that color, it will replace it with, right now, nothing. We have to replace it with something. So I'm gonna go here to Format. I'll click off to the side here, choose Format and I will choose no color. Click OK. Now it should work. Let's give it a try. I click replace all. All done, we made 55 replacements. Now that may not have looked like 55 replacements. It was only like six rows. The way they count this is each cell, each individual cell counts as one. And so because it went all the way over to the right, it does add up to 55. So I click OK, close, and my spreadsheet is back the way I want it to be. So to me, I see Find and Replace as being very effective, very useful, and I use it quite a bit. If you ever have trouble using it, let's say you go here to Format and it doesn't let you choose a format, you might want to close out and click and drag to highlight all of the columns in your spreadsheet. 
or if you prefer, you can click and drag to highlight all of the rows in your spreadsheet. So sometimes highlighting the data that you want to search through in order to find and replace, sometimes highlighting it is the key to being able to use all of these features. But in my case, as you saw, I didn't really need to do that. I could just click in the data somewhere, click find and select, replace, and then make my selections of what to find and what to replace it with. One last thing I wanted to point out is, let's say you would like to search for a particular color or a particular format, but you don't know what it's really called. You don't know what it is, and it's hard for you to select, let's say, the exact color. You know, which of these colors is the exact one? Maybe it's this one, maybe it's this one, maybe it's this one. If you're uncertain about that, you may want to choose this option, choose format from cell. And then you can just click on a cell, Whatever the format of that cell is, that's what it will search for, and then it will replace it with whatever you choose next. I hope that you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please click the like button below, and consider connecting with me on my social media websites like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And definitely do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students, and watch for another video from me at least every Monday. If you'd like to learn more about some of these synth pop bands, please look in the description below where I have some links. The ones that I'm most interested in right now are Talk Talk, which I've been familiar with for years, but lately I have some renewed interest in their work. They were a pretty early synth pop and new wave band, but toward the end of their career they switched styles to post rock, and I'm enjoying revisiting all of their music, so I recommend them. And Bloom has recently come out with a great album called Ashes. If you like synth pop or future pop, check that out in the description below. And Division's newest album is called City Beats. So if you're interested in this kind of music, I highly recommend you check out the links in the description below. And if you'd like to support my channel, please consider becoming a patron of my channel through Patreon. And you'll find links to my Patreon account in the description below.